If you like what you're about to hear, please consider leaving a review or liking, sharing, commenting and subscribing on YouTube. I don't have a Patreon or enable ads for this, so if you really like old X, please do contact Games Workshop on social media or via email and tell them you want me to narrate their audiobooks for realsies. Old X, Codex Chaos Space Marines, 4th edition, pages 40 to 57, Forces of Chaos, The Rules and Stats, Part 2, written by Gav Thorpe and Alessio Cavatori, narrated by R.J. Bailey. With great thanks to Alistair for donating this copy of Codex Chaos Space Marines. Chaos Dreadnought Stat Line Weapon Skill, 4 Ballistic Skill, 4 Strength, 6 Armor, Front, 12 Side, 12 Rear, 10 Initiative, 4 Attacks, 3 Unit Type, Vehicle, Walker Special Rules Crazed At the start of the Chaos Movement Phase, Roll on the table opposite for each unengaged Dreadnought. D6 Result 1 Fire Frenzy The Chaos Dreadnought may not move or assault this turn. At the beginning of the shooting phase, it must pivot on the spot towards the closest visible unit, friend or foe, and fire all of its weapons against it. Twice. If the Chaos Dreadnought cannot fire any ranged weapons, Treat this result as a 2 to 5 sane result instead. D6 results 2 to 5, sane. The player controls the model normally. D6 result 6, blood rage. In the movement phase, the Chaos Dreadnought must move as far as possible towards the nearest enemy. In the shooting phase, the Chaos Dreadnought may not shoot but gains the fleet special rule, and must run towards the nearest enemy, ending its move facing towards this target. The Chaos Dreadnought must then assault this enemy in the assault phase, if able. If the Chaos Dreadnought is immobilized, treat result as a 2 to 5 sane result instead. Chaos Defiler stat line. Weapon skill 3. Ballistic skill, 3. Strength, 6. Armor, front, 12. Side, 12. Rear, 10. Initiative, 3. Attacks, 3. Unit type, vehicle, walker. Special rules, fleet. Chaos Rhino stat line. Ballistic skill, 4. Armor, front, 11. Side, 11. Rear, 10. Unit Type Vehicle Tank Transport 10 Models Note that models in Terminator armor, obliterators, and summoned demons, even though they are infantry, cannot be transported. Fire Points 1. The Chaos Rhino has a large hatch on top of its hull, which can be used as a fire point. This does not leave the Chaos Rhino open topped as its passengers wear power armor. Access points 3. The Chaos Rhino has two side hatches and a rear ramp, any of which can be used as access points by the passengers. Special rules. Repair. If a Chaos Rhino is immobilized, the crew may attempt a repair in their shooting phase. This stops the vehicle from shooting. To do so, roll a d6. On a 6, the immobilized damage result is repaired, and the Chaos Rhino is free to move again in later turns. Chaos Predator stat line. Ballistic skill, 4. Armor, front, 13. Side, 11. Rear, 10. Unit type, vehicle. Tank. Chaos Vindicator stat line. Ballistic skill, 4. Armor, front, 13. Side, 11, rear, 10. Unit type, vehicle, tank. Chaos Land Raider stat line. Ballistic skill, 4. Armor, front, 14. Side, 14. Rear, 14. 
Unit type, vehicle, tank. Transport, 10 models. Models in Terminator armor count as two models. Note that obliterators and summoned demons, even though they are infantry, cannot be transported. Fire points, zero. The top hatches are for the use of the Chaos Land Raiders crew and cannot be used by passengers as firing points. Access points, three. The Chaos Land Raider has a large frontal access ramp and a hatch on either side of the hull, any of which may be used to embark or disembark. Special Rules Assault Vehicle Models disembarking from a Chaos Land Raider may assault in the same turn. Abaddon the Despoiler, War Master of Chaos, stat line. Weapon Skill 7, Ballistic Skill 5, Strength 4, Improved to 8, Toughness 4, Improved to 5, Wounds 4, Initiative 6, Attacks 4. Asterix. Leadership 10. Save 2. Plus. War Gear. A Baron is equipped with Terminator armor, twin linked bolter, personal icon, the demon sword Drachnean, and the Talon of Horus. See below. Special Rules Fearless, independent character. Mark of Chaos Ascendant. Abaddon has attained the favor of each of the Chaos Powers in turn, and has proved the equal of his mentor Horus, in that he has resisted becoming a pawn of any individual patron. Over the millennia, Abaddon has melded the marks of Chaos granted to him, and now bears a unique mark that combines all of the gifts. Because of the mark of Zinch, the invulnerable save provided by his armor is increased to 4+. The other benefits are included in his profile. Finally, because the mark is proof that the Dark Gods have a plan for Abaddon, he is immune to the instant death rule. Demon Sword Drachnian and Talon of Horus Abaddon has been gifted the arcane blade Drachnian, which contains the bound essence of a writhing warp entity, and wears the Talon of Horus, legendary weapon of the Great War Master. The effect of these two powerful artifacts means that Abaddon counts as equipped with a demon weapon that doubles his strength, to strength 8, as shown in his profile, instead of the normal plus 1, and he may re-roll any failed roll to wound in close combat. Abaddon has plus d6 attacks from his demon weapon. Khan the Betrayer Stat line, weapon skill 7, ballistic skill 5, strength 5, toughness 4, wounds 3, initiative 5, attacks 5, leadership 10, save 3 plus. War gear. Khan is equipped with power armor, a plasma pistol, frag and crack grenades, gore child, personal icon, and the Mark of Corn, bonus included in his profile above. Special Rules Independent Character Fearless 5 plus Invulnerable Save Furious Charge Gore Child Khan's huge and ancient chain axe is an artifact from the Great Crusade. Gore Child's jagged, whirring teeth were torn from the jaws of mica dragons on Luther McIntyre. Its haft is forged of adamantium, and its head is a full three spans across. Khan's close combat attacks always hit on a roll of two plus. In addition, Gore Child is treated as a power weapon, and against vehicles, adds an extra d6 to Khan's armor penetration rolls. The Betrayer Khan may attack anyone nearby in his berserk fury, friend and foe alike. Any of Khan's to hit rolls of one in close combat have hit his own side. Resolve the hits on a random friendly unit engaged in the same combat, as if they were hit by the enemy, using Khan's weapons and profile. If there are no other units in the same combat as Khan, these attacks simply miss. Blessing of the Blood God 
Khan is immune to the effects of psychic powers, and force weapons count as normal power weapons against him. Ariman, Exile of the Thousand Suns stat line. Weapon skill, 5. Ballistic skill, 5. Strength, 4. Toughness, 4. Wounds, 3. Initiative, 5. Attacks, 3. Leadership, 10. Save, 3. Plus. War gear. Ariman is equipped with power armor, a bolt pistol, frag and crack grenades, personal icon, the black staff of Ariman, and the mark of Zinch. Special rules. Independent character. Fearless. Four plus invulnerable save, including the mark of Zinch. Master of Sorcery. Over the centuries, Ariman's powers have grown to the point that his knowledge of the dark arts is rivaled only by the greater demons of his patron. Ariman has the following psychic powers. Doom Bolt, Warp Time, Wind of Chaos, Gift of Chaos, Bolt of Change. The Black Staff of Ariman. The Black Staff is a potent focus of psychic energy. It counts as a force weapon, and in addition, it allows Ariman to make up to three psychic tests in the same turn. One of these may be to use the special ability of his force weapon. It even allows him to use several powers that count as firing a weapon in the same shooting phase. He must target the same unit with all of them, however. Inferno Bolts Shots from Araman's bolt pistol are resolved with AP-3 instead of the normal AP-5. Fabius Bile Stat Line Weapon Skill 5 Ballistic Skill 4 Strength 5 Toughness 4 Wounds 3 Initiative 4 Attacks 5 Leadership 10 Save 3 plus. War Gear Fabius Bile is equipped with Power Armor, the Rod of Torment, the Zyklos Needler, Bolt Pistol, Frag and Crack Grenades, and the Chirurgeon. Special Rules Independent Character Fearless The Chirurgeon This is a complex, part magical, part technological device that is attached to Fabius Bile's spine and extends its spidery limbs over his shoulders. It pumps life-giving ichor around his body, charged with the immortal energy of the warp. The direct effects of this in the game are to give Fabius two extra attacks and plus one strength, included in his profile, and confer the Feel No Pain special rule. Zyklos Needler this gun fires a dart of virulent poison into the victim's bloodstream. It has the following profile. Range, 18 inches. Strength, non-applicable. AP, 6. Assault, 3. The weapon does not have a strength value as such, and always wounds on a D6 roll of 2+. Rod of Torment. The demon-forged Rod of Torment amplifies the slightest pinprick into a raging wheel of agony. The Rod of Torment is a close combat weapon. Any opposing model suffering one or more wounds from the Rod of Torment is immediately disabled by the pain and suffers instant death, regardless of its toughness. Enhanced Warriors If Fabius Bile is included in a force, he can enhance some of the warriors in the army, through genetic manipulation and drugs. For plus three points per model, any number of Chaos Space Marine squads can be enhanced by Bile's treatment. Fabius's attempts to enhance his warriors, however, don't always work out as well as he hopes. At the start of the battle, after both sides have set up, but before the first turn takes place, roll a d6 for each enhanced squad and consult the table opposite. Enhanced Warrior Table D6 Result 1 Berserk Rage The warriors attack each other in an animalistic fury. Make an armor save for each warrior, 
removing any who fail. Survivors are fearless and at plus one strength for the remainder of the game. D6 result two to five. Stable mutation. Biles' experiments have proved successful this time, and the enhanced warriors are fearless and at plus one strength for the entire game. D6 result six. Created a monster. The abilities of each warrior are temporarily enhanced to superhuman levels. The warriors are fearless and add plus two to their strength for the entire game. Unfortunately, not even the enhanced warriors' constitutions can withstand this level of performance for long. At the end of every owning player's turn, one of the squad's members is removed as a casualty. Owner's choice. Lucius the Eternal, stat line, weapon skill 7, ballistic skill 5, strength 4, toughness 4, wounds 3, initiative 6, attacks 3, leadership 10, save 3 plus. War gear, frag and crack grenades, armor of shrieking souls, mark of slanesh, included in profile, personal icon, power sword, lash of torment, doom siren. Special rules, independent character, fearless, five plus invulnerable save. Armor of shrieking souls. The armor Lucius has worn for countless millennia is a baroque monstrosity writhing with the howling souls of those that have killed him over the aeons. For each successful power armor save, or invulnerable save, Lucius makes in close combat, the unit causing the wound immediately suffers a strength for hit that ignores armor saves. Lash of Torment This writhing whip of chaos counts as a close combat weapon, and in addition it reduces the attacks of any model in base combat with Lucius by one to a minimum of one. Typhus, host of the Destroyer Hive, stat line, weapon skill 5, ballistic skill 5, strength 4, toughness 4, increased to 5, wounds 4, initiative 5, attacks 3, leadership 10, save 2 plus, war gear, mark of Nurgle, included in profile. Terminator Armor, Personal Icon, Man Reaper. Special Rules, Independent Character, Fearless, Feel No Pain. Herald of Nurgle. Typhus is a psyker and has the Wind of Chaos and Nurgle's Rot psychic powers. In addition, Typhus always successfully passes his psychic tests when using these two powers and so is also immune from the effects of perils of the warp. Man Reaper This lethal instrument of death is shaped like a gigantic scythe. The Man Reaper is both a demon weapon and a force weapon. Treat the Man Reaper as a normal demon weapon, and, in addition, any model wounded but not killed by the Man Reaper can be killed by Typhus with a successful psychic test, following all the rules for a normal force weapon. Typhus may take this test even if he has used one of his psychic powers in the same turn. Destroyer Hive Typhus's body is host to a horrific plague that manifests as a swarm of insects that pour from the cracks and vents in his armor. Typhus counts as using frag and blight grenades. See page 38. Huron Blackheart, Master of the Red Corsairs, stat line. Weapon skill, 6. Ballistic skill, 5. Strength, 4. Toughness, 4. Wounds, 3. Initiative, 5. Attacks, 3. Leadership, 10. Save, 3 plus. War gear, power armor, power weapon, Frag and Crack Grenades, Personal Icon, The Tyrant's Claw. Special Rules, Independent Character, 
fearless. Five plus invulnerable save. The Hammer Dryer. Huron has a pet creature of unknown nature, which he calls the Hammer Dryer. The beast appears semi-intelligent and stays with him at all times, perching on his shoulder or hiding behind him if things get too dangerous. The creature never fights or tries to help its master directly, but it seems to manifest curious psychic powers, which Huron uses to his advantage. The Hammer Dryer is treated as a familiar, except that its effects are to make Huron a psyker and give him the warp time psychic power. The Tyrant's Claw The Tyrant's Claw is a monstrous, bear-like bionic arm and shoulder that was built to replace Huron's own arm. The Claw is a power fist that incorporates a built-in heavy flamer. You have been listening to Oldex, Codex Chaos Space Marines, 4th edition, pages 40 to 57, Forces of Chaos, The Rules and Stats, Part 2, written by Gav Thorpe and Alessio Cavatori, narrated by R.J. Bailey. With great thanks to Alistair for donating this copy of Codex Chaos Space Marines. Thank you to Gav Thorpe and Alessio Cavatori for writing the fiction I grew up with. If you've enjoyed this, please leave a review where you found it, or like, share, and subscribe on YouTube, depending how you're listening. I don't have a Patreon or enable ads for this, so if you really like Old X, please do contact Games Workshop on social media or via email, and tell them you want me to narrate their audiobooks for realsies. This production, like all of Old X, is entirely unofficial and uncommercial, from an out-of-print publication, is a derivative work with all copyrights owned by Games Workshop, and is a celebration of the hobby and lore I grew up with. If you have suggestions for other old Codex fiction for me to narrate on this podcast, you can comment, contact me on Twitter at rjbailey, or email robertjbailey at gmail.com. Links are in the show description.